Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Camtasia's new release of their editing software, Camtasia 9. Alright, so I've been using Camtasia for years now. I think since 2010 or 11. And I've literally edited thousands and thousands of videos with Camtasia. So I am super excited to announce that they have just released a new version of Camtasia and it's totally different from Camtasia 8. Now you'll notice I'm saying Camtasia 9 and not Camtasia Studio 9. They actually removed that from the title now and it's just Camtasia 9. They removed out the, the word studio. So I don't have the new Camtasia yet, but I'm super excited to get it. I first need to update my computer, get a new computer, and then I will install the new Camtasia on that one. But I've been doing a bunch of research on it and from what I can tell, it's a big difference from the Camtasia Studio 8. So I watched their uh, launch video um, back in September when they were announcing the, the new Camtasia. They did a little bit of a live feed on Facebook. I saw that live feed and then I also went onto their website, did a bunch more research on what you can expect with the new Camtasia 9. So right off the bat, the first thing that I can see is that the dashboard the editing dashboard is completely different. It looks more modern, it looks more sleek, and it looks like it's still, you can still recognize it, and but it's got new features. Uh, I also noticed that the, the screen where you watch your editing and stuff, that's now in the middle, and then it's got um, options to edit on both sides of the video. It still has the, the time track at the bottom, which is good. Two, they've got a new assets library. So they have uh, copyright free music that they said is user friendly for monetization of videos on Vimeo and YouTube, which is always like a thing, you know, trying to find copyright free music to use in our videos. It's always time consuming. So to know that they have a library in there, I don't know how big it is, but you know, I'll check it out when it happens. They've also got some um, pictures, backgrounds, animation pictures. And from what I saw in the examples, they look pretty good. I never used the assets from previous because I thought they looked kind of cheesy and lame and I just, I never really liked the feel of it. But so far from the example video, they look pretty clean, professional, like stuff you'd find in professionally made videos. Three, the thing that I'm probably the most excited about with Camtasia 9 is the color correction. You can now do color correction on videos. That is crazy because Camtasia has never had that. I've always had to edit in Camtasia and then put it into GoPro Studio and alter the color from there. Now, the GoPro uh, Studio software, that's been really buggy lately and I've really just, it's been such a, a drag to have to use that as well after Camtasia to do the color correction, but it's necessary for me because when you do the color correction, it just makes the video pop with vibrant colors. I love videos with vibrant colors, so that's why this is a big thing for me. The fourth thing that I've noticed is that they have this thing called behaviors that you can put on text, images, or videos. They're kind of like animations and they look really cool. Like when, they, when I saw them done on the text, the way the text pops in and the way they did it with some uh, pictures, moving pictures, it just, it was like an extra touch that I'm excited to try out. The fifth thing is that the PC and Mac version are pretty much the same. The thing before was that the Mac version was like way cheaper than the PC version and they weren't the same and they weren't compatible. So now if you're working on a PC and you need to hand it over to your friend or something who has a Mac, you guys can go interchangeable. You guys can share the the working files, the editing files, um, they'll work together even though you guys have different computers. 
So those are the five things that I'm looking forward to on the new Camtasia 9. You better believe that when I get that software, I'm gonna be creating tutorials like crazy for that. So stay tuned for those because I will be creating a tutorial video on every little thing that's gonna be going on in Camtasia 9. So that is it for this video. Let me know, do you guys already have Camtasia 9? How are you liking it? If you do like it or if you don't like it, let me know. What are your favorite features? I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, well, that's it for this video. As I said, when I get Camtasia 9, I will be doing a full review and I will be doing full tutorials for it. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.